Hey everyone, Silence here, here again. Welcome back to gameplay of Pokemon White 2 Part 4. Uh, yeah, let's get down to it and let's see how far we can get today. As I recall, we were supposed to go back to uh, our hometown and challenge our first gym battle. And yeah, Deco jumps off the cliff once again. How in the world does he do that? Okay, here we are at the first gym. And there he is, Sharon, from Black and White series. As usual, he always gives us the fresh water item at every single gym, uh, like he did in the first game of Black and White. That didn't do a lot of damage. Bye. 
One down, one more to go. Oh dear. Let's seal up. Okay, well, let's use that fresh water that the guy gave me. So even in challenge mode, uh, after a while it feels like uh, a normal game, so apparently the difficulty wasn't set too high, still playable in some sense. Okay, off to Sharon. So I'm gonna heal up and uh, do some equipping. Okay, maybe not. Oh wait, I'm supposed to equip the berry. Okay, I'm gonna save here, and just in case. And our first gym battle. He poses? Okay. That was awesome. He has a berry on him? Okay, that's not good. So yeah, uh, Pokemon items do play a very crucial role. Especially when uh, I'm only running one Pokemon as my team. Oh dear lord.
Okay, let's finish this quickly. And we'll have our first batch. And it's ours! I have to say, uh, Sharon did put up a very good fight with his normal Pokemon. Uh, even though I'm just using one Snivy, uh, he did push me a bit uh, under the challenge mode. So apparently as his first gym battle, as a gym leader, I kind of uh, gave him a losing streak. <laughs> well, apparently most people would have given him a losing streak. So as the Japanese would say, GETO DA ZE! And off we go! Oh, Bianca! And we get to see Juniper finally! <laughs> so apparently uh, Black 2, White 2 is the first game that I've seen that actually your rival uh, gets the badge later than you do uh, compared to Gary and yeah some other games. So yeah. And finally we get to see the sea gear. Uh, pretty cool new design. Uh, definitely would like to try and get the Caldeo C gear if it's possible. Uh, and hopefully, let's see what future events they will give out the C gear as. So let's talk to the metal dude. Okay, apparently there's no uh, metal to defeat the first gym leader. Let's 
stock up on our stuff. And what? The great balls already out. That's rather quick. In fact, there's many other items that's already out that I didn't expect to come out so quickly. Okay, potions. Uh, seven's enough. Pokeballs. Yeah, I've got a hand of those. Alright, let's move on. So with my next video, uh, because the appearance of the sea gear, uh, I will be only recording the top part of the screen from now on, unless there is a new sea gear skin that's out. So yeah, okay, let's avoid the grass. Don't want to meet any wild Pokemon. And is it always raining in this city, town? So Bianca is still a klutz even though in black 2, white 2. Uh, nah. And finally, we are able to get past this dude. And yeah, let's see what he has to say. Okay, he blocks my way and finally lets me through, but only to block me again by challenging me to a battle. Okay, <laughs> that's really helpful in some sense. Oh, is a real loop? So normally the hint of uh, the Pokemon in the area is usually shown by the Pokemon the trainers use. So yeah, apparently he gives off the hint that there is actually a real loot to be caught in this area. And, wow, another critical hit. Let's see, uh, 65%, 90% accuracy. Uh, yeah, why not? Yeah, since my Snivy's uh, special attack is actually higher than my attack power. So cute. Why do people keep stopping me? <laughs> Is that Sharon's uh, BGM? Uh, quite cool if I were to say. So Hugh is definitely aiming to be stronger than Sharon, uh, which probably is a good sign. Uh, he may be a future gym leader, I guess. 
I really like the recent improvements on the trainers animations really really nice uh, to see that they actually did some uh, effort in the animation Okay, let's get that Pokeball. It's a water. Okay, our first Pokemon 2. I'll be fighting most of the trainers as I don't want to lose out on any experience since I won't be fighting any wild Pokemon. Uh, well, trainer, trainer experience is definitely a lot higher than those that you gain from the wild Pokemon. So yeah. And this Dune Spass is definitely very tough to fight. Okay, and with this, I'm ending the video. Oh, wait. Wow. And I thought I would just end it here. So Snivy is evolving. Okay, I apparently accidentally pressed something. So, uh, yeah, Snivy evolved to a Savine. And... Yeah. Really cool. So with this, I'm ending the video here, uh, I'll see you guys again with episode 5 and hopefully we'll be able to get further than, uh, well, as far as we can. Okay guys, see you, bye!